everybody. Welcome to Alicia's Creative Paradise again. Today I just thought I would come on this evening and make a few tags and I thought I would just get on camera and do it with everybody. So as you can see I've been working on I've been working on some here and here's a cute little tag and here's some uh, ribbon. It did have the wire in it, but I cut it off and and put it on here. And I'll probably back that with some coffee dyed paper. And then I've been working on this one here. Uh, this paper here is from Antique Papery. It's the, um, I think it's a Ren Renanen Moth uh, paper set that she has. Very pretty paper. I absolutely love that collection. And here's some vintage lace. And then I've just cut out several to work on. And I picked out some pretty paper. I absolutely love this paper I got from Hobby Lobby. It's got the rusty red color with the turquoise and the orangey amber color, rust color. And some rose paper. And let's just get started here. I'll go ahead and finish this one. I was thinking about putting a button on it. Let's go ahead and pick out a button. I've got a little miscellaneous tray here that I'm digging in. Now here's a little um, paper clip embellishment that I made. I thought that was pretty cute. And I got, I got a lot of buttons. This is only a few of them. Let me just see what looks good. I just grabbed a handful and just chunked them in this little box because it's easy to get in and out of. And I think I might have to grab another handful because I don't know how I feel about this selection. Alright, let's see. I kind of like that one there. Let's get the jar. We might have some better. Just mix it up. Be kind of like bingo. Let's see here. What do I like? Oh, that's kind of cute. But it has silver, so I don't know what that would do. Well, this kind of looks nice. I kind of like that one, but I have to cut the back off that little piece. These are very antique buttons. My aunt gave them to me and I cherish everything she gave me. And that's, I have another aunt who also gave me my grandmother's vintage lace. And I just was over the moon about it. I couldn't believe what she gave me. Beautiful lace, tons of vintage lace. Cause my grandmother, my other grandmother, she um, made dolls, porcelain dolls, and sewed all of their clothes. So it was, they were so beautiful. Let's see. I think we might go simple. Maybe I'll just use that little pink one there. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I kind of like that. Anyway, I'm sure you'll be seeing all of my lace collection pretty soon because I'm, I'm kind of wanting to show it off. It's really beautiful. And then maybe, let's see here.
just thinking. This is how I go. Just thinking about what to put on here. Anyway, we had some weather last night and it was crazy. We had a, a lightning bolt hit and I happened to be looking in that direction and it was loud and you could see the fire uh, sparks that came from it. It was pretty crazy. thinking about putting one of these butterflies on here. This one. Yeah, I don't know if I like that blue. Let's go ahead and ink it up. I don't know about y'all, but I tend to ink everything up. I just can't go without it. looking cute like that you just put it down because once you commit it's easier to deal with. If I don't glue it down, then I keep going round and round on thoughts like, do I want that there? And then I just pick a way to put it down and then I end up gluing, putting glue on it and putting it a different way. <laughs> it's just the way it goes. That's why it's so fun. The sky's the limit. You can do whatever you want to do. I'm going to be doing a show and tell. I do have other things that I've made that I like to talk about and just kind of show. Like tags and ephemera and things that I've made. So let me glue that down. And I have had this. I really like this glue, the art glitter glue. But Whenever I put a needle in here, this thing rusts. It gets really rusty in there, and that needle will rust. So what I found is don't put anything in it. It dries. It's so small that it dries in the tip, and it doesn't really hurt the glue. So I don't put nothing in it no more. If I want to open it back up, I just shove a needle in there. And just open it like right now that needs to be opened up so let me get a let me get a pen one second all right here we go it's one thing it dries fast it dries good and put that right there and then let's see I think I'll punch a hole later on this part 
and I'm going to do some stamping on here later. So here's two. Put that to the side. Let me cover that up so I can use it again in a minute. Oh, what I did want to do, hang on. I wanted to play with these. I just got these the other day. They're the Jane Davenport color stick crayons, soft crayons. Now, these do dry fast, I noticed. So, like, whenever you use them, you ha if you're going to smudge, you have to smudge quickly because they do dry fast, but they're water soluble. So, you could come back in after they're dry and move it around a little bit. But, yeah, they. They dry kind of fast and I like to do things like just add some color and just smudge it in and see what I get and I love this red it's really pretty See, we went from uh, a really light palette here to getting vibrant, which is okay. It's totally okay. I'm trying to use colors like what's in the butterfly. Now, if I came in with a paintbrush, that would move a little bit better. But I don't really want to wet this tag because the paper is not, it's kind of thin. I've been using 28 pound paper for my print printables that I get, that I purchase and also for my collage sheets and the 28 pound paper is really nice. I like it a lot. It's very firm and it's not too thick and it's not too thin so I do like it Let's see maybe some some of this Another thing I, I think I might be able to do is take a baby wipe because as you can see it doesn't budge very much so you got to move quick with your finger but I think a baby wipe would probably move it around a little bit more as long as you didn't go crazy and just push it put it on there too much okay there's that I think that's pretty I'll we'll probably put some sticky back jewels on there too and some stamping. Oh, I know what I got. I know what I can get. Hold on one second. So I got these yesterday. These are, these were from the Goodwill, and I, I'm assuming they're really old. I've never heard of it, but heart to heart, close to my heart stamps, but my acrylics, made in the USA. I don't know if this has anything on it. Oh yeah, I didn't even see this. Oh, okay, there's an acrylic block. Well, I'm not going to use an acrylic block today because this is really simple. And yeah, they they kind of do look old. They the they're kind of yellowy a little bit, but that's okay. They feel great. They feel like they're 
they're not going to fall apart. But I did like this one here. This is got the dots and stuff, so I'm going to just do some random polka dots on here. See what this does. That's kind of cute. Now let me know what you think. Comment on my video. I've actually been gone for a while because I had things going on. But I'm back. I'm glad to be back. And I think that looks cute. I like it. It's a little different. It's a little kind of mismatch, but that's okay. I like abstract stuff. And here's the stamps. I haven't tried any of these yet. Let's see, this says Friends Forever. Gonna leave. Thanks. Friend to friend, heart to heart. Hey, that's kind of cute. I like that. I like that right there. I think I might put that on there later. Alright. Let's see. Maybe I'll put a button on this one. Let's see what else. Hmm. I dig at the bottom. Oh, I like that. Isn't that retro? Look at that. I don't know. Well, I do have these. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, my aunt gave me these too. I like those. That's very old looking. Should I see a date on those? I always like to look for the dates. Those pretty. Oh, very cute. Oh, I love these. These remind me of some sugar free candy I used to get as a kid. <laughs> pretty. We'll save that one. Love that. I have a lot of things to show you. Look, those are pretty. But that'll be for another video. Alright, so...
Oh, look what fell out. These are cute. Wow. I would have to sew these on though. Those are very pretty. I'm thinking these. And these have the metal. Okay, now 69 cents. Oh, I hate to tear that off the thing. Oh, goodness. That's so hard to do. And those, I need to get my... Cookie tool. Oop, knocked over my storage box, huh? This right here. Let me get this out. There we go. And see, I already have some butterflies cut out. I think I want to put this on here. Too much. Do I want to go blingy bling or pearly? Pearly, pearly. I think I'll do pearls. Make a little dab of glue so they don't come off. I hope this video is not boring or maybe I'm helping you sleep <laughs> oh, I have my favorites and they have such soft voices that it I do end up falling asleep if I'm watching it at night and I just think it's so funny I'm like I, dang it I missed that I've got to go back and watch it again because I fell asleep. It's not really a bad thing. Not really. Okay. Just going random here. You know, Walmart has these for a dollar. As long as you put glue on the back of them, you'll be good. So pretty. Oh, looky there. I'm going to have to use Fabri-Tac. It's soaked into that ribbon. Oh. As you can tell, I'm working up. I'm working at a different table where my camera can go. This is the ribbon. It's really old. You can tell. 
I think it's so old you can see it coming apart. You can see the metal in there. That's why I cut it off. But look how pretty it is. Vintage looking. So that's what this is. And I'm going to need some more Fabri-Tac. Hobby Lobby, here I come. 40% off. And this will do it. Okay, I'll let that dry for a while and then come back to it later. I'll probably go pull this up, punch a hole, and put a little bit of sari silk on there. I think that would be really pretty. And let's close these glues. Move this stuff a little out of the way. Oh, and uh, here's a little tip for you. If you haven't gone to the store to buy your little foam pads lately and it's starting to crumble, uh, my tip is to take some different, not these, but some larger scissors and gently over the trash can, actually cut it and you can get some more use out of it. And I actually bought some more, but it's really soaked, so I didn't want to change it out yet. It's not it's not really crumbling like it was, so I'm getting a lot of use out of this one foam pad, but I did buy more. All right. Take some of this. I hate tearing this up, but it's going to be pretty on this tag. I've got a little visitor talking to me, so. I bought two of these, and the first one ran out really quickly. I want to get a, I need a, to get a big one, because I really like this glue stick. We'll put this right here. Ooh, I like that already. How pretty. And let's see. Yeah, so I did another video that I posted a 
a journal that I made. I hope everybody likes it. My first video in several months. See, I don't know, that might be too big. You know what? It might look good just hanging off the edge here. All right, let me try it. I'm just playing, so we'll see what happens. All right, so I'm going to let it hang over the top like that. See, once it's glued down, it looks so much better. I like that. All right, so I think this one might get some bling. And I'm going to have some of these. The next video I make, I won't be so quiet. This is my first video of actually crafting, so, and I'm okay with it. I just, I'm trying to figure out how I want to set up, set it up and do it. So this is kind of an introductory to me and who I am and so everybody can get to know me and what I do. I definitely hope everybody likes my work. And there'll be more to come. Just let me know. Let me know what you think. That's kind of unique looking. Let's do that. Let's put that right here. Okay. 